Hi and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM. Today we are going to play the playoffs. So if you watched the previous episode, we have been playing this Cabot League, League 1. We've managed to finish within the playoffs just. Um, and uh, we've actually drawn the, the hardest opposition we could have drawn. We're going to play against Exeter for the playoffs for this one. Let's have a look at the competitions. Um, sorry, I'm clicking on the wrong place. There we go. Uh, competitions. We've got uh, Exeter. Uh, we're facing in, in the other match. There's Peterborough versus Luton. If I go back and look at the um, stages. League table. So Exeter came third. Five points away from us. Uh, and then Luton and Peterborough finished drawn. Or four points away from us. Sorry, I've just sneezed before I started recording, so I'm still kind of trying to compose myself. So apologies if I'm um, sounding a bit weird or sniffing a bit. Okay, so we're going to play Exeter. I I know that this is a two-leg match, so I've made some decisions about who we can and can't play. So I've decided to leave out Simon Parnell because Mike is still recovering from injury. It's four days away from recovering, so I'm thinking you need to have Mike fresh really for the last leg of the playoffs. So I'm going to play um, someone I've never played before, Claudio Oliveira, and this kid is from our youth. He's 17 year old, and you know what? I think he's probably can deal with it. He's a hardworking midfielder, professional mentality. Let's look at his box to box attributes. 15 passing, 7 tackling, 11 off the ball, teamwork and work rate 16, stamina 13. So actually, he's pretty good, except maybe tackling. So that's okay. Right. Uh, not many changes otherwise. Kaya is back from injury. If you watched the previous episode, he was out on injury. I've swapped, I've swapped the uh, halfback uh, Alan bar, uh, with Rabiu. No changes here. Dodds is not back from injury just yet. And I've rested Craig. So we're going to play Miles at the front. We're going to go attacking. The only change is, obviously, the mentality is attacking. We're going to play uh, working the ball into the box for this one. The only change there in possession. No changes in transition. We're going to use... We're going to drop tighter marking. And we're going to... Do the opposite with it in the previous match, which was also against Exeter, by the way, if you haven't watched the previous episode. The, the last match of the league table was against Exeter. We drew 0-0. Nil, nil, nil. Yeah, so we're going to force them outside this time around. Um, Alright, let's see how this goes. <clears throat> yeah, I just wanted to show you a little bit of an overview. So, two players on injury. Harkness hasn't been played quite so often this season for us. Uh, Bazrich... Yeah, he, he's been playing a few times, actually. That's a good point. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. Hilton's doing really well. That's fine. Right, no further ado. I'm going to have to give Claudio a number. And off we go. Televised match. Um, against Exeter. We're playing the first leg at home. The second leg will be away. I'm not sure that they've made many changes to their squad. I skip this bit. Okay, yeah, so... Uh, one last bit, actually. Uh, just making sure we've got opposition going on. Yeah, so it's not absolutely critical... As long as we don't lose heavily, we should be okay to leave things for the second playoff. I'm not sure if there's an away goal rule for this playoff. Um, I can't remember from the rules if there is an away goal rule or not. But in any case, I'm hoping they don't score. OK, 
Okay, first corner that we're watching. Mm. This could be a little bit dangerous. Oh man, and Tetsia's again. I think he scored it. Uh, no, he didn't score. Or maybe he got like an offside. I don't can't remember. I remember his name from last match. He didn't score because it was nil-nil. Nobody scored. We've played Exeter. Maybe that's what I remember from. We played Exeter right at the beginning of the season and we lost really bad, I think. And then the last match, obviously, we drew. I'm thinking we also played against them for a trophy. With either the... It wasn't the FA. It wasn't Carabao. It must have been... It must have been... Um, uh, what's the name? Papa John's. Oh gosh, 2 nil down. Now. That was nearly a goal there. Right, come on, pick it up. I'm gonna have to change Gary. Uh, and bring Simon back in. Come on, Miles, you can do it. There we go. Needed a little bit of help from the post, but that's all right. So Miles with his um, first goal in a few matches, actually. He's not been doing that great for us. I'm so glad I didn't buy him. Because um, he's not actually doing very well. Okay, so we've got Gary out. Claudio out. And Max out. Okay, three subs done. Let's see what we can do. We want to at least end up drawn. Um, it'd be better if we won, but... Oh, come on, Miles. I wasn't even looking at the ball. I was looking the opposite way. I'm not sure why he was looking the opposite way. Oh, dangerous. Oh, and by the way, if you've noticed, I've checked the time. I'm not sure if he appears in the game, actually, if I check the time. Um, yeah, it is very early here. 7.30 a.m. on a Saturday. Um, I'm trying to do this thing where I wake up early, um, even when I'm not at work. And so far, it's working for me, actually. I feel better when I wake up earlier in the weekend, so... I'm going to keep that going, I think. I've actually been up since 6. But I've been doing other stuff up till now. Um, okay, so it's a draw. It is a draw. I think. Oh, okay. Hang on. <laughs> I forget that the game always does things in the last 5 minutes. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is skip to the next match. Because uh, I'm going to try to fit in, if we have three playoffs, if we win against Exeter. I'm going to try to squeeze all three playoffs into one episode. Uh, and I don't want the episode to be too long. So therefore, I'm going to skip to the next playoff. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, and we're back for the second playoff. And I've actually taken a little bit of a break to go to the gym as well. So if you see me stretching my arms, because i got shaky arms at the moment. But um, yeah, so... I wasn't completely happy with the way that we played the first playoff. So we were at home. We let Exeter concede twice first before we came back to draw. So I made a few changes. Um, I'll start with tactics. So we're going to play a little bit more conservative. So we're going to go positive rather than attacking. We're playing away anyway. 
Uh, we're going to play through the middle. We're not going to work the ball into the box. I'm going to distribute to the center backs and no changes in that opposition, I don't think. Then for the starting 11, we're going to rest Con um, Logan and play Leon Davis. I'm going to rest Brad Hills. I'm going to play Conrad. Brad Hills is still in the bench, so is Logan. We got we got Simon back, so Simon's back. Uh, he was tired. I rested him in the last match. Uh, he's back now. Baz Rich is in here to give uh, Hilton a bit of a rest. Dodds is back, but I kind of want to save Dodds for the final if we get there. So we're gonna play Diogo, and Craig is back as well. And I'm not even gonna have Mild on the bench because. No point. So, yes. Uh, hopefully this will be fine. I'm a little bit nervous about leaving Dodds out. I just I don't want to risk injuring him. And then missing him out on a final. We need him. And I think... I mean, Diogo didn't play too bad in the previous match. So I'm, I'm hoping he'll just continue that momentum. Um, yeah. Alright, let's go. Oh, before I go ahead, I actually just need to check the opposition instructions as well. Uh, let's check that. Okay. Ooh, got free kick. Tom said it controlled. So not many shots on target for us. The second time we're conceding a free kick. And now that's a penalty. That's all right, though. Tom Yates has a good record of um, defending penalties. Let's see if he does it here. Yeah, no, he didn't. That's a shame. He has a very good record of defending penalties. I'm, sh I'm hoping there might be a statistic. I'll, I'll take a look at some point. Uh, it might be a statistic that we can pull up for goalkeepers. He has defended quite a lot of penalties this season. Um, so he's pretty good at that, but uh, not this time, unfortunately. Now, this is a little bit concerning because Exeter has scored, and they are the home team. It's often quite hard to catch up... to catch up a team... Uh, if they scored first at home. Oh, nicely played there by Rabiu. Just heading the ball to Yates. Yates is going to lob it to the front. He was supposed to distribute the centre-backs, but not this time. Second goal by Exeter. And I think it's probably going to be next to impossible to catch them up. Which kind of is making me feel like, oh, maybe I should have played Dodds. But yeah, maybe I should have played Dodds. But Diogo's not doing too bad. Gary is not doing so well, though. I need to keep an eye on our time because I'm supposed to be uh, getting some other stuff done this morning. Right, so. I don't think we're going to make it to the final, but we're going to give it a last chance here for the second half of the match. Uh, I'm going to bring in Brad Hills and have Con Conrad as a halfback. And I'm going to bring in Fred. Not that Fred has then ever done anything spectacular for us, but he might here. So this is what happened in the last match. So we were 2-0 down. And then we came up back into level. So according to the rules that I've now checked... Um, Oh, nice one from Max Clark. According to the rules, there is no away goal advantage, uh, which means that if uh, the match ends level, uh, it will go to extra time, and if extra time ends level, we will go to penalties. And as, I, as I was saying before, if the match end up, ends up going to penalties, I'm totally comfortable with that because Tom Yates has done a pretty good job of defending penalties for us in the past. Um, 
pretty sure he would do a good job today as well. We just need one more goal to be back level. Uh, and we don't want to concede. Oh man, I said that and he scored. Okay. Yeah, I don't think it's our day. I don't think it's our season, which I'm not too upset about because to be fair, we've only just come up to Skybet League One. Our club is not ready to be promoted to the Skybet League uh, Championship, to be completely honest. We are in the red. <clears throat> we don't have the facilities, we don't have the stadium. We need a bigger stadium to get more um, fans in. Come on, Logan, don't waste time. I think everyone's offside there. They weren't, but yeah, it didn't go in anyway. Um, yeah, so I don't know. We, yeah, I think next next season we'll try the playoffs again, and um, hopefully things will be better. But we need to do something about cash flow in um, in this club because cash flow in this club is is just we're spending a lot of money on youth. So I'm hoping to recruit some youth to the top um, squad, but I don't know. Ooh, beautiful goal from Conrad. Well, you know what? There's still time for one more. We could still do this if um, if we kind of stay focused. Come on. Uh, yeah, so I think focusing on using up some of that young talent that we already have at the club would be ideal. But I don't know if any of them are actually ready to play in the senior squad. That's the thing. Okay, so it's not our season. You know, I'm, I'm perfectly happy with that. I think it's the first time we've been to playoffs and not gone through to promotion. Slightly upsetting, but <laughs> it's fine. So we're not going to go through promotion this time around, but we're going to have a second go at playing Skybet League One uh, at the club. Let's just give a quick look to see if we get any end of season. Um, end of season news. Okay, end of season news. Got one trophy this time around, Papa John's. First time that's appeared. I think. Mark Dodds, best player. I probably should have played him in that last match, but never mind. Uh, pretty good run of games. Uh, sponsorship income has increased. Broadcast income has increased. Corporate and hospitality has increased. Competition prize money. That's because we didn't get it. So last season we went up to the fourth round of the FA Cup. This season we went down to the second round only. So we lost a bit of money in that and in match day income for that reason, I think. Shirt sales, everyone loves Dodds and Craig and Brad. Logan's a surprise. Palmer. Um, oh, so a couple of surprises here. Wilson is no longer in the squad. Vazric. Hmm. Uh, yeah, a couple of surprises, but okay. But apparently these are the most, most, you know, people that played the most in that position, so. Uh, Mark Dodds, fan of, uh, players, player of the season for the fans. Also the young player of the season and the signing of the season. Bearing in mind he was with us before, he, we sold him for 43k. And then we got him back for free the following season, so this season. Uh, we've played 100k for Rabiu, which is stupid considering the fact that he hasn't done anything that, you know, great for us. Goal of the season, uh, Max Clark, which must have been that one that we just makes, I, don't know, I can't remember now. It was probably in the previous slide, but um, I'm not going to go back to that. Top goal scorer, Mark Dodge with 17 goals, also the most assists by him and the most player of the match. Highest rating, 
Uh, no surprises with a halfback again claiming the most passes completed in 90 minutes. Uh, we did a bit of history making by uh, winning the Papa John's Cup against Exeter. So we're playing Exeter. That's where I remember playing Exeter from. I was thinking earlier like, hmm, we played Exeter before. I'm pretty sure we won against them once, but that's where we went against them. So yeah, so all the all the normal end of season type things. I won't bore you with that. Oh, actually, this might be interesting. <gasps> oh yeah, they want to expand the stadium. This is good. This is good. I'm going to take all these out. Because, yeah, that's fine. So we're going to play counter-attacking counter football, which we already do anyway. Defensive, so, meh, yeah, we should be alright, actually. Expanding the stadium, yes. Yes, we want to do that. We definitely want to do that. Um, no changes there. I'll skip the meeting for now. Just to see what other things. Ooh, we've been offered a pre-season training camp. Should we go to West Midlands or Scotland? Mm. West Midlands is probably cheaper. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Scotland is good. I love Scotland. Um, I love I, I love in real life to go to Scotland. But I think West Midlands is cheaper. And we want to save some money for the club. So. Uh, discuss the next season. Uh, what should I say? Oh, actually, before I do this, what was the agreement with the board? Fight bravely against relegation. Okay, so that's what I need to say, isn't it? Uh, I've been wholly satisfied. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, I think the board is saying this, isn't it? Yeah. The players sort of always agree with the board, so I'll go with that. Okay. Great. I'll see them in the next season, and I'll also see you in the next season. So don't forget to like and subscribe, and check out the Patreon. Check out the links as well in the description. Oh, hang on. Hold fire. Don't go anywhere yet. We've got a minuscule budget. Uh, because the board is spending all their money expanding our stadium three and a half million to have three thousand more seats with with some funding from the authorities the rest of it is loans which you're gonna have to pay back it will be completed in 11 months in the meantime we're gonna be relocating to Agbereth. I've never heard of this place in the city of Kidderminster. We're going to share the stadium with Kidderminster. West Brom's under 23s, Wolves under 23s, and our own under 20 and the youth teams. So we're going to be sharing the stadium with loads of people. You know what that means? It's going to be waterlogged, poor pitch condition, match congestion, all of that stuff. So it's not going to be great, but it's only for 11 months. Um, completion in May of next year. Cool, so that's going to be happening. Uh, yeah, great. Anyway, you can go now, check out the links in the description, as I've been saying. Uh, you can also pick up uh, a free share if you sign up with the free shares link that uh, I've put there. Free trade, I always say free shares. Free trade does free shares. If you sign up, you get a free share. That's what I mean. Okay, see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.